to a narcissist, forgiveness is weakness. And if you're new here, I have narcissistic personality disorder. To a real narcissist, forgiveness is weakness and permission to continue whatever behavior they were apologizing for. Whatever behavior that you forgave them for is permission to continue about to continue doing it. Because in a narcissist brain, if you forgive us, then you are saying that you are okay with all the previous treatment, all of it, be it emotional abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, whatever abuse, cheating, whatever it is, is completely forgiven. If you take like if you take a narcissist back, you cannot ever bring it up again because that will spark an argument with a narcissist. Why'd you take me back if you're gonna keep bringing it up? You don't forgive me. You don't care about me. You don't trust me. If you trust me, you wouldn't go through my phone again. So continuously forgiving somebody that is not sorry for what they did, that not hasn't truly apologized for what they did, is viewed as weakness to a narcissist. In 2021, we're, about, we're not being weak no more. We're flexing. Get strong. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware, diagnosed narcissist, Lee Hammett, also known as mental illness from social media all around the place. If this is your first time seeing my face. I'm a diagnosed narcissist that uses his platform to raise awareness for NPD and also in the process validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. So this series right here, A Narcissist Explains, is about taking my TikToks and YouTube shorts and making them longer. They get 60 seconds over there, we get a whole seven, eight, nine, ten 10 minutes over here. So the one you just watched is about forgiveness because forgiveness to a narcissist is viewed as weakness and or permission to continue the terrible behavior. It just is. I know forgiveness, I think it is in the Bible somewhere, you know, and the Christians, the Christian folks will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but to a narcissist, consistently forgiving a narcissist is probably the, the worst thing you can absolutely do. Because if you figure out that you're dealing with a narcissist, or if you don't know that you're dealing with a narcissist, and you're constantly forgiving them for literally everything, not even making them work hard, like no change behavior, no anything, no acknowledgement of what they did wrong. Just all they say is sorry. Or they don't even say sorry. You just forgive them because you got a good heart. You're an empath. You have a good heart and you're just so forgiving. And then you end up looking stupid because they continue to play your face. Because the, the more and more you forgive a narcissistic, toxic person or whatever, the more and more they're going to test the boundaries and see what else they can get away with. Because you're just continue, if you're just continuously forgiving them, why not? In a narcissist's mind, why not see what else we can get away with? Why not push the push the boundaries? Why not do that? Because I see a lot of people that just consistently like, I just ignored the red flags and forgave them. Like I told you the other day, I saw a girl that was definitely dealing with a hundred percent dealing with a narcissist. He sent her some flowers with a, a card that said sorry, and people in the comment section were just like, Oh my goodness, that's he, he's sorry. Forgive him. I was like, If you forgive that man. And he didn't even acknowledge what he's saying sorry for. He just said, said sorry with some, a bouquet of flowers delivered from an Uber. Uh, you, you, if you forgive that person, and it, you deserve whatever comes next. Just point blank, period. And that's how a narcissist feels. If you forgive me, you deserve what comes next. Because you didn't have to forgive me. You didn't have to, but you did. Out of the kindness of your heart, you forgave me. Or you forgave them. Or you forgave him or her or whatever. You know what I mean? You forgave them, and they took advantage of it. Your kindness is viewed as weakness. You know, I know people say, don't mistake my kindness for weakness. That's exactly what a narcissist does. You might say it. You might. People, people, people are always mistaking my kindness for weakness. My, people are always mistaking forgiveness for weakness. It is. In a narcissist's mind, it 100% is. You are, you, you are weak to a narcissist. And they'll continue to prey on you and use you and abuse you mentally, physically, verbally, emotionally, whatever. They're going to continue to do that until you stand up for yourself and stop accepting BS apologies. Stop forgiving them for literally everything in the map. I talked to a woman today. She was just like, I was just, I caught him cheating. I just didn't even make him work harder for it. I just said, so I, I just took the set the apology and just kept moving forward. And now he just kept using me and I feel, now I feel terrible. Like, oh, exactly. They didn't make him work hard. All they had to do was say sorry. That just blows my mind. And I know y'all are going to say, hey, Lee, it's the trauma bond. You can't come to the self aware narcissist and say trauma bond. Because I, un I understand the trauma bond. And then you have to realize you're talking to a person that's diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. Like, I'm not supposed to be doing this. I'm breaking through this. I'm breaking through my mind every single day to do this type of stuff. You can break through the trauma bond. You can fight through that and stop being so forgiving. Set your boundaries. Keep them in place. And don't be afraid to be alone for a while. Because the fear of being alone keeps you stagnant. Because the narcissist, 
they're going to continuously beat you down with that. Nobody else is going to want you. Good luck finding good luck finding somebody that's going to put up with your BS like I do. What's going on? Like I say, good, good luck. Good, 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 good riddance. I'll replace you easily. You can't replace me. You'll never find anybody else like me. And you should say, that's the point. I never want to find anybody else like you because you have mentally, you tried to mentally, physically, verbally, emotionally destroy me. You tried to do that. And I didn't allow you to do that. That's what you should say. But sometimes you just like, you get so beat down. You hear it so much. You, you hear the same thing so many times that you actually start to believe it in your mind. Deep down in your, in your subconscious brain, you actually start to believe it because this per, the person you love and care about so much is saying it to you over and over again. Codependency will ruin y'all. I promise you, the codependency, the the the, the, tra the trauma bond, that will ruin your life. And like I said, narcissists do not care about ruining your life because they think you are they think you are complicit in it. And are you not? Think about it. They will ruin your life because you forgave them for cheating. They will literally give you an STD, cheat on you, give you an STD, blame you, and then you will forgive them and live with the STD and take them back. What? I just that it blows my mind. I'm like, what are y'all doing? Like, stop being so forgiving. That looks dumb right there. Like, you let a person give you an STD, cheat on you, give you an STD, and then you take them back. That blows my mind. Stop being so forgiving because sooner or later they're gonna give you something that you can't get rid of, and then you're gonna feel like you're bonded to that person for life. You're like, well, I might as well stay with them because nobody else is gonna want me because I have this. That's exactly how it ends up being. And now you feel like you're emotionally bonded to this person or physically bonded to this person because they gave you an STD or STI, whatever you call them these days, and you can't get rid of it. You're stuck with it for the rest of your life, and you don't think anybody else is going to want you, and the narcissist will say it. Nobody else, nobody, nobody else is going to want you now because we're stuck together. And in your mind, you, you might actually start to believe that, and then you feel stuck, and you feel bonded to the narcissist even more. So protect your peace. Stop being so forgiving. Niceness is weakness to a narcissist. Forgiveness is weakness to a narcissist. Grow. Have a look. Have some strength, have a backbone, stand up for yourself, and stop being so forgiving. I'm scared. Then you gotta make a plan to leave. If you're scared to voice yourself and not forgive, not be overly forgiven. Sometimes they don't even. Sometimes they don't even apologize, and you forgive them. They'll just give you the silent treatment, and then you'll be you end up apologizing and forgiving them for cheating on you, for doing whatever, for hitting you, for the screaming at you, yelling at you, raging out at you, embarrassing you, smear campaigning you. You'll end up being being the one to apologize for them doing something to you. Stand up for yourself. Take your power back. We're not looking goofy. No, no, 2021 is the last year you look goofy. This is the last month you look goofy. Because narcissists, they, they love to take the paintbrush and paint any any type of picture of you that you allow them to. But guess what? You It's your picture. It's your paintbrush. Take your brushes back. Paint your own picture. Make your, make your own image. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. <sighs> I'm glad. I'm so. I'm so blessed. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'm super thankful for every single one of y'all. We just hit fifty-three thousand. Let's get it to hundred by the end of the year. Mental illness is out. Peace.